Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, and we're back to another bad game. Now, I know I meant to call this series Bad Game of the Week, and I don't think I've actually uploaded anything related to bad games in, like, six months? Maybe a bit less? And, uh, I've got no excuse. So today we're doing a double feature. The first game is Project Summer Ice R. Ah, my first date RPG trademark Elliot brackets open story one brackets close. Press the X button to play starting level one. Project Summer Ice, my first date RPG copyright 2020-2022 Myron Kevin Times Jr. Slash Breakthrough Gaming LLC Slash Project Summer Ice dot com All rights reserved Published by Breakthrough Gaming LLC Press the triangle button for more copyright notices Oh fuck yeah Copyright notices The story script, music, game design and graphics were all by Myron Kevin Tynes Jr. So we have one person who is solely responsible for this this game was 79 pence. Let us begin. My name is Elliot and I am a second semester senior in high school. In just a few months I'm graduating. A lot of my friends were talking about what they're going to do after high school. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to take it easy. I already work a part-time job, so after high school I'm going to try to change my hours to full-time. Hopefully my boss will let me. With a full-time job I'll save enough money to buy my own house and live on my own. So I'll just need to go the last few months of high school and then I'm free. God, Elliot, you're fucking boring. So I can't swear this is a Bible game. Okay, I will be leaving for school in a few minutes with my dad. I need to get something to eat first. Where did I put my backpack? Use the left stick or the directional buttons to move around. Plus X to. This music is pretty shit. Okay, got my backpack. That's a gold trophy! I've earned two trophies in this game. Time for breakfast. Time for breakfast, my ass. What's in there? You be... Just run off to bed, okay. What's this fucking Street Fighter music? Hang on, how many trophies are in this? I've got two out of 12 trophies. That is not good. Where the fuck do I live? Falling, Elliot. Morning, Dad. That's another trophy. Gold trophy for talking to Elliot's dad in the morning. I made food and I have some extra. You want some? Nah, I'll make something for myself. Alright. We're still leaving in about 15 minutes, right? Yeah. Usually I lose the school whenever I want to. But Dad has to use my car to get to work. His car needs to be repaired. Dad's job is further from home than my school. So my dad drops me off first and then drives my car to work. Since he's been driving, I don't see any new scratches on the car, so that's good. Yeah. So what? I've got another fucking trophy! So what do I want to eat for breakfast? Your mo- What the fuck just happened? Thanks again for letting me use your car, Elliot. The part I need to fix it won't come in the mail until next week. Sure thing, Dad. We should pay for more than half the price of my car anyway. True, but saving up your portion of the cost wasn't an easy task either. Good job. Thanks. Now let's get you to school. I've got another fucking <laughs> You wanna drive? Nah, you go ahead. Sitting in the passenger seat will give me a chance to think a little before I get to school. Alright, let's go! For another one! 
Oh, wow, there she is again. So, what are you looking at, Elliot? Oh, nothing. I don't know why I've changed the voices. Ah, come on, you were looking at that girl at the bus stop, weren't you? Well, uh, yeah. Do I figured. I've noticed you're looking over there every morning we pass by that bus stop. That obvious, huh? Do you know her? Well, yeah, kind of a little bit. But she's really cute. Yeah, she is. You're like twice my age, Dad. What the fuck? So, are you interested in dating her? Dating her? Well... Yeah, that would be nice, but... I don't think it would work out. We had classes together a few times during high school. But nothing this semester, though. So I don't think dating is even an option for me. Hmm, you sure about that? Does she even know who you are? Of course she might. I don't know if she's sure. Oh, I see. Okay, after school, you and me need to have a talk. A talk about fucking hell. Talking about girls? Yep, so make time after school and after your own work is done, okay? Alright. Oh, good god, here we go. Another trophy for finishing the day at school, I didn't even go! I didn't do anything! Later that afternoon, after school is over for the day. Food will be ready soon. Great, I'm hungry. So, you're about to tell me more about this girl. Yeah. Her name's Oriana. I really like her. Okay, what do you like about her? Well, let's see. She's pretty and she's nice, at least from what I've seen of her in class. Is that it, mate? Really? I've just never had the chance to get to know her, even as a friend. That's why I don't think it'll work out with us. I'll see. Okay, I've made my decision. You're forbidden from using your car for the next one. What? What? Now we're getting grounded? What did I do? Uh, no, quite. For the next month you're going to be riding the bus to school. The bus? But the closest school bus stop that I know of is exactly the bus stop with Oriana. Oh. Let's see. If I'm riding the school bus I'll have to wait at the bus stop. And if I'm at the bus stop I'll get to be around Oriana. That's right. I knew I had a small son. Hmm. Good idea, Dad. I'll have to think about it first. No way you're going to be at that bus stop starting tomorrow. What? So soon? But, but I, I... Ha. I know how you feel, son. As far as I know, you've never dated a girl yet, right? <laughs> Well, yeah, that's right. So this is going to be a new experience for you. Fucking hell, he's going to wait at a bus stop with a love. He's not going to pull up to this bus stop and immediately start shagging her. I knew things are scary sometimes. But to get what you want, many times you have to take a risk to get it. When you're trying to make an important decision... One way to approach it is to look at the big picture. So, think about it. It's the final semester of high school. You're almost done. And the same thing happens to everyone who goes to high school. Your classmates scatter all over the world after graduation. Some move to different parts of the state or to an entirely different state. Or even a different country. And if they decide to stay in town, they're still all over the place. Schedules aren't as restricted as they were in high school. Working a job, attending college, it's more of an open world of choices all for you. Fucking hell, what are you going on about? So Oriana is no different. I'm sure she has her own dreams and desires that will take her to new places. But for now, you both are right here in the same senior class. Didn't we just have, like... Isn't one of the problems the fact that she's not in my class? Fuck it. You don't have any classes together. Then what are you saying? That makes it a little harder to make a casual connection with her. So it seems to me that the school bus is the only place left where you can get her attention. If you really want to get to know her, 
This could be one of the last chances you have to make a romantic connection with her. Hmm, I never thought about it like that. I think you should go for it. Sure, she could project you, call you crazy or weird, because from the fucking looks of it, we fucking are. Or as you talk to her, you may find out she's not your type. Maybe she's <laughs> crazy or weird. Ha ha. Ha, maybe. But, maybe she's a girl just waiting for the right guy to take a romantic step towards her. And if you're brave and take that step, you could be that guy. You could also end up in jail. But you've got to take a chance, or else you'll never know. Hmm. Just think about it, son. And if you really don't want to do it, you don't have to. I won't take your car away. Ha ha. Yeah, okay, I'll think about it. Good. And just like that, the food's ready. He has to cool a little, and then we can eat. Alright, sounds good. It's a good idea, but it doesn't seem like it's enough time. Maybe it's too late to even try at all. Can I really build a relationship with Oriana before high school is over? And so it's the next morning, time for another day of school. I'm not walking. See you later, son. You can do it. Yeah, maybe. You just keep my car in one piece. Ha ha! See ya! Bye! Okay, time to get to the bus stop. I hope the school website had the right time for when the bus leaves. Yeah, we're going to the bus stop. Ah, oh, yeah, the music's changed. It's fucking awesome now. I can't explain it, but it's like forcing me to move up. Can we go in here? No? Okay. There's, there it is. This is not the road we were driving down before. This is not the road from the beginning. She's not here yet. So either I'm early or she's not coming. I got fucking country. Or maybe this isn't the right bus stop. Hey, or maybe the bus already came. And if Dad took my car and I missed the bus, I'll have to miss school. Ha! Huh, three day. What the fuck? Oh man, there she is. Come on, be cool, be smooth. Hi. Hi. Okay, it's showtime. So what do I say next? To be continued, what? What do you mean to be continued? What the fuck? Who are you? Hi there, it's me, Rick, from the Project Summer Ice series. And it's time for another ProjectSummerIce.com character blog. As you grow into an adult, more and more often you're gonna have to take risks. You're gonna be doing things you've never done before. So the earlier you build your confidence to take risks, the stronger you'll be able to take on the task that will come in the future. Trying out for the school play or sports team, starting or joining a club, presenting a speech, meeting new people. There's so many things to try in school and college. Take advantage of the opportunities. Just make sure to take good risks. Not bad ones. Ha <laughs> ha. You may not get the outcome that you were trying to hope for, but you still need to try. That's how you grow, by practicing. And remember to ask God for guidance and the courage to try. He can help you. 
And if you're a Christian, you have to have, you have the help of the Holy Spirit to guide you. Use that power. Thanks for playing story one for Elliot. You can play this story again from the main menu. And you can find more character blogs at www.projectsummerice.com. See you next time. In the next story, it's Elliot's big moment. What is he going to say to Oriana? Find out in Elliot's story of Project on the Ice, my first date RPG. Purchase and download story 2 to continue your adventure. Thanks for playing and see you next time. Well, that's 16 minutes of my life completely and utterly wasted. Okay, so I was originally going to play a different Project Summer Ice game for this, but I'm now... We, we've got to get, know what happens next. The thing is, I looked on the PlayStation Store and I just straight up no Elliot Part 2, but from the looks of it, I think this might be it. So we're going to play Project Summer Ice R, uh, my first day RPG, trademark, Oriana Story 1. Hopefully this is the right one. Hi, my name is Oriana, and I'm a senior in high school this year. Yep, I'm almost an adult. Twelve years of public school has had its ups and downs, but I've learned a lot, made friends, and done all kinds of fun things. Except, I've never been on a date with a guy. And no, I'm not some loser who doesn't socialize. So that's not the reason I haven't. But I did hear something said by a group of boys last year in 11th grade. I heard them call me a high maintenance girl. I didn't quite understand what they meant by that, so I asked my parents about it. They said certain guys do not date girls that look like they will spend lots of money. And since they know that I don't come from a rich family, they think they'll have to spend their extra money on me. Yeah, no, I, I read that right, they just spelt it wrong. And they don't want to do it. Even if they think I'm cute. Which I heard them say too. So, if this group of guys think this about me, do other guys think that about me too? Why is she wearing pajamas? Sorry. Is this my problem? So at the start of 11th grade, I had to make a decision. Do I try and change who I am to raise my chances of getting asked out on a date? Or do I be myself, which could raise my chances of not being asked out? Well, after a lot of thinking and a lot of prayer, I decided to continue being me. and felt good to make that important decision. Still, it's hard not to deal with not dating anyone yet. Okay, I did read that one wrong. But I have to live with myself for the rest of my life. So why change who I am to please a small group of guys? Plus, I think... No. I... No! God will bring the right guy into my life. And it will be the right guy. Yeah, that's what I believe. And I still have a few months left of high school left. So maybe I'll get asked out before it's all over. Anything could happen. Oh, we got we got pictures of people talking now. This is an upgrade. Well, today's another day of school. Time to finish getting ready. Use the left stick up the directional buttons to move around. Can we do a bit of RPGing in this one? 
Last time we found our bag. And then like gained control mode. Oh We zoom in. Why does the mirror face like into the wall? Whoops! I have a few more things to do before I eat breakfast. Go to bed. What? I didn't. I didn't see what he said. No. The weather is perfect, so the oh, did I have to? Oh, there's a jacket with the wall. Oops, I have a few more things to do before I eat breakfast! What shoes should I wear today? Uh, uh, sneakers... Yeah, things will make it comfortable for walking around school, trophy number fucking two! I can wear my thin socks since it's starting to get warmer in the mornings again! What purse should I bring today? Okay, let me look at myself in the mirror. <laughs> hey, I don't. These brush could we not have placed it anywhere else? Was it like. Was it just too hard to place it somewhere? Did the person making this look at that corner and say, yeah, that is it. That needs to go there. Get brushed, face cleaned. I'll skip makeup today. I think you need it, love. Okay, yeah, I look great. I love looking my best, and I'm glad I have friends that feel the same way too. Here in 10th grade, I wanted to start a club about fashion, but I never found the time to do it. Got busy, I suppose. I could start one now, but it's already the second semester of 12th grade. I should probably just stick with thinking about my future. I'm going to be get busy enough with that. Open bracket, giggle, exclamation mark, close bracket. Okay, I'm ready to go. Breakfast time. That's another trophy. How many are we on so far? 36% of the game done. Breakfast is ready. Have a seat and eat up. Morning. I'll be leaving for work soon, but I'm going to eat first. Thanks for breakfast, Mom. It looks great. You're welcome and thank you. So how's the school bus working out for you, honey? It's good. Really? Well... It does stink to ride it. But I know it's only temporary. And once I graduate, I'll have my own car. Yeah, that's right. <sighs> That's the curveball for this semester. I have to ride the bus to school. Yeah. I'm a senior riding the school bus like a freshman without a car. Well, actually, I do have a car. Kinda. Ever since I got my driver's license, I've used a family car to get to and from school. And of course, for any shopping tricks during the week, open bracket, giggle, exclamation mark, close bracket. Dad said he'd buy me a car as my graduation gift. He just needs time to save the money for it. But Dad has a new job that requires him to drive in the mornings, so I can't use it anymore. Well, at least the bus stop is right down the street. It's not too far. And I'm getting some exercise too. It's just kind of sad to end my senior year by riding the bus. Open bracket, I dot dot dot, close bracket. And I've got great news for you, honey. Oh, what's that, Dad? I'll be doing the finances this month, and with the new job and the new pay, we'll be able to afford to get you a car before you graduate our school. What? Really? Yeah, we should be able to buy after spring break. Spring break? Yes! That's perfect! Oh, 
open bracket, laughing, exclamation mark, close bracket. That's good. So, you should start looking for cars now, so we can start doing some price comparisons. Okay, I will, definitely. Oh yeah, did you hear back from Uncle Joe yet? Ah, oh, that's right, I sure did. He said that they are currently looking for models. And he would be happy for you to visit over spring break. Awesome! My Uncle Joe? Open bracket, my dad's brother. Close bracket. Got a job in the city working at an ad agency. The ad agency produces catalogs and websites for different stores and brands. Since he works there, he knows who to submit my resume and headshots to. And if they like them, they may hire me. And that means my, profess my first professional job as a model. After high school graduation, I'll get to live with my uncle and aunt in the city. I'm going to take some general education courses at the college fair. But I'd like to get closer to the ad agency so I can work there while I go to school. Of course, that would be the new group of guys to be around. Open bracket, giggle, exclamation mark, close bracket. So spring break will be like a trial period to see what things are like up there. This is going to be awesome. Thanks, breakfast was great, but I've got to head to the bus now. Okay, be safe, Ariana. I will. Love you. And we're back to the cool music. Okay, that's actually making me stop and stick to look at it. Please. This is the same house as the last dude. Okay, the bus is out of the way. Ha! Now that I'm getting the car earlier, riding the bus really is no big deal now. Just a little more inconvenience, but after that I'll have my very own car. Yes! What? Yeah. Yeah, that's how streets work, innit? Can we go in it? Oh, the music's changed. There's like more than a fifth of a map. Here we go. Same roadblock. Let's go in here. No? Yeah, this is just the same street as the last kid. Okay. Oh, there's a bridge on this one. What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, because that's how... That's how the bridges were. Why is... There's just a field on the other side. What? So why does it... Why is there a road that just goes into... What, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. We're gonna cross the bridge. Or whatever the fuck this is. Oh no, it goes down. Where are we going? I've earned the trophy for going to the park. Because, yeah, neighborhood park. No visitors for an hour of 11 and 5. Okay. Is there anything here? Oh, is the bus stop going to be down this way? Because, like, we saw her descend from the grass last time, so I'm going to guess it is. Someone else is at the bus stop! It's Elliot! He's back! I've been the only one here so far, this is the best stuff. I wonder who it is. Hi! Okay, what's he going to say? This is what we've been waiting for. Hmm, I feel like I've seen him at school before. But I don't know. Oh well, I'll use my phone. Time to see what's going on in the world. Open bracket, giggle, exclamation mark, close bracket. Ariana is starting another day at school. The school must be, may be inconvenient, but brighter days are ahead for her. But who is the guy at the bus stop? 
Does he want to tell us something? <laughs> With in what? To be continued in what? Hey there, it's me. Shut the fuck up, Rick. The other girls out there playing our game, you may feel like Ariana in the story. You may have not had your first date yet either, but don't worry. Just continue being yourself and improve being yourself on the inside, on the outside, and on the inside. Your first date will happen at the right time. And as guys out there, remember, when you start dating, you do need to be ready to spend money on your girlfriend. Are you ready for that responsibility? But make sure you don't date a girl that's focused only on how much human money you have. Even if she is cute. The amount of money you have could change at any moment. Which means her opinion and you could change at any moment as well. Whatever your situation, make sure to ask God for guidance. He can help you. And if you're Christian, you have the power of the Holy Spirit within you. The Holy Spirit can help guide you on the path you need to go in life. The path may not be easy, but in due time you'll be a stronger person because of it. Thanks for playing our story one for Ariana. You can play the story again from the main menu. And you can find more character blogs at www.projectsummerhouse.com. See you next time. In the next story, Ariana sees a guy at the bus stop. Who is he? And does he have something to say to her? And then, Ariana meets up with friends during lunch at school. But what does she hear that makes her a little anxious? Find out in Ariana's story 2 of Project Summer Ice, my first day RPG it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. I've looked. It doesn't exist. There is no story to for this bitch or Elliot. I've been scammed. I've been lied to. These were both 79 pence. I've spent almost like one and a half quid on this shite. Stop looking at me like that. Hopefully this third game, this wasn't even meant to be free game thing this was just this was originally the second game before i got distracted and paid an extra 79p it's the same fucking music again isn't it we're gonna play project summer ice bowling online let's play online bowling we're gonna be pammy i have done that yes connecting to server connecting to the console. I'm going to host the game. Oh. Does anyone want to join my projects from the ice bowling gameplay? No? Right, fine. I guess we're playing story mode. I'm going to play as Pammy. Oh, good. There's six stories. Story one. One. All right. Another weekend is here. Oh, there's Jane. Hi, Jane. Hey, Pammy. Are you busy tomorrow, Jane? No, not really. What's going on? I got two free passes to try out that new bowling alley that opened up in our neighborhood. Really? Yeah, they were giving them away at my dad's job. Dad gave them to Rue and I so we could play. But Rue doesn't want to go, so she gave her pass to me. So I wanted to know if you wanted to go. Mm. I think going to the bowling alley would be fun, Jane. Bowling? I don't know, Pammy. I think I'd be pretty bad at it. Well, I never played either, but it's fun to try new things. And we won't know if we're terrible at it unless we try. Well, since you put it that way. Okay, sure, it's a free pass after all. Greg, call me later today and we can coordinate at a time to go tomorrow. Alright, see you later, Pammy. Bye. My first time bowling, this is gonna be fun. The next day. Thank you for visiting our bowling alley today. 
We're here to help you if you've never tried bowling before. Bowling isn't hard once you get the hang of it. Wow, it's pretty cool that this place has instructors to help new people to the game. It's bowling! I can explain bowling to you in about three sentences. You pick up the ball, you roll it, you knock over pins, the person who knocks over the most pins wins. Bowling. Yeah! Alright, the first group can go to lane 3 for lessons and the second group can go to lane 5. Have fun. Lane 5, that's us, Jane! Right, let's go. Well done! What the fuck? Okay, you're instructing me on how to... I'm going... <laughs> what the fuck is this? Okay, I'm gonna guess... Yeah, you press X and you're... Right. Round 2. Okay, no, it's... Yeah, I'll take that. Was this made in scratch? Yeah, you literally... That arrow of direction is really hard to control. We're gonna try it again. We're gonna master this. Okay, that did not go well. Boom! Kaboom! Look at me, I'm so good. Final score 19, we'll take that. I didn't mean to start it again, hang on a minute. I think this will pretty much work. Never mind. I just want to continue the story. Yeah, I'd love to take it. Hey, that was pretty fun! Yeah, it was! Okay, those are the basics, everyone. You didn't teach me anything. We hope you enjoy your time at our bowling alley today. And if any of you have any questions, ask an attendant. Have fun. All right, I'm ready to play a real game of bowling now. Yeah, me too. Just because I'm new, I'm not going to go easy on you, Pammy. Ha, huh, me neither. Why are they facing opposite directions? Let's go to that lane over there. Sounds good, Jane. Let's play. I know I've changed the voices, but I really couldn't care. Okay, so like, trying to get like an actual fucking strike is pointless. Because going straight down the middle is not going to work, so... I'm gonna bounce it and just take a massive chunk out that way. Boom! Oh, look at me, we're so good at bowling. Oh, I missed. Never mind. I genuinely feel like this was made in fucking scratch. See, Jane, aren't you glad you tried something new today? Yeah, I am. You always have great ideas, Pammy. Well, I try my best. Open bracket, giggle, exclamation mark, close bracket. I'm ready to play another round, but I could show you something to drink. Yeah, me too. Do you know how much drinks are around here? Not sure. But our pass is good for a free meal and drink out of that So that's free! They're free! Seriously? That's awesome! Yeah, so let's get something to drink and eat. Sounds good to me. Let me drink, get the food and sit at a rest table in the restaurant area. Wow, this tastes great. Yeah, and if we keep paying, and if we're paying their prices, a good too. I may come here later just to eat. Since we're taking a break from playing, I wanted to talk to you about something. Sure, Jane. What's going on? Well. This guy in my class has been looking at me funny lately. Funny? In what way? You know, well, I guess a better way to put it is that he's looking at me more than usual. More than usual, huh? Hmm, was it a mean or weird look or something like that? 
No, it's not creepy or anything. It's just... I don't know what his problem is! I get nervous because it's like, is there something wrong with me? I'm like, doing someone dumb with my face? Is there something on my hair? It's so annoying! Well, don't get too annoyed, Jay. Huh? Why not? Maybe he doesn't have a problem with you. Maybe he has a crush on you. A crush on me? But... We've never talked before. Really? Yeah, I just know him because he's in one of my classes. Interesting. Sometimes when I happen to look in the direction of his desk, he looks away real fast to make it seem like he's not staring at me. Does he think I'm stupid? I want to notice him or something. Ha! Uh, well, that sounds like good old crush behavior if you ask me. You really think so? Well, how long has he been doing this? About a week or so now. Hmm. Maybe he's just trying to figure out a way to talk to you. Maybe. I'm sure he'll come out eventually, if his intentions are good or bad. Hopefully he'll stop staring and just say hi to you or something. Yeah. You ready for another round of bowling, Jane? Sure am. Let's... Oh my god! What's wrong, Jane? It's him. He's right over there. Of the entrance. Really? Hey, you're talking about that guy over there, right? Yeah. I know that guy. You do? He's in one of my other glasses. He's really nice. He's never gave off any creepy feelings to me. Yeah, I'm going to say he has a crush on you. So what do I do? I've never had someone get a crush on me before. Should I go over there and talk to him or something? No way! Don't do that. He's on official rule of day number one. Let the guy come to you first. If he really likes you, he'll have the courage to come over here and talk to you. Really? Yeah, but still. Even though I have a strong feeling that he likes you, we still don't know that for sure. I say we wait and see if he really wants to get to know you. I don't know if he's interested to see if he comes over here and talks to you. Makes sense. The beginning of a good relationship is letting the guy decide for himself who he wants to date. I don't think that's true. If a guy's committed at the beginning, I think it'll work out better in the long run, too. Don't be desperate like the stepsisters. Be patient like Cinderella. Wow, that's pretty deep thinking, Harry. Did you come up with that all by yourself? Well, I've done a lot of weeding on the topic. I've read and watched a lot of princess stories. Open bracket, people, exclamation mark, close bracket. I see. Let's start our next game. Just pretend like it's not over there and let's see what happens. Okay. Round one. Oh, hang on a minute. I've got a new tactic. Final score two. Yeah, fuck it. Oh, yeah, did you see that one, Jane? I sucked ass. Uh, Jane? Where'd you go? Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark! James talking to Mark! Who the fuck is Mark? I'm guessing that's the bloke. Looks like he came over to talk to her after all. Open bracket. Diggle. Exclamation mark. Diggle. I can sure call them, huh? Just, just as I thought. I don't want to distract him, so I'll keep playing over here and wait to see what happens. Boom! I really don't care. I just want to get this over with. This is actual dog shit. I'm not making fun of these games for like, being about God and stuff. If you want to make a game about religion, that's fine. I don't... I'm not going to judge anything based on that because like, go for it. And these games are just shit. Like, the, the, the bit about religion comes right at the end. That's absolutely fine. It's just like... Continue story. Not too bad. 
I'm back. I see. Here you go. I can't be bothered to do the open bracket. It's going by left so suddenly, bear me. That's fine with me, Jane. So, what's going on? Mark came over to say hi. Looks like he got free passes too. He came with some friends of his. Uh huh. So, still think I can't be asked. Uh, so go play, but I don't want to play another round of fucking bowling. Just boom. I can't. I don't know why I downloaded this. I don't like bowling in real life anyway. I think it's the actual worst game to ever have been created. I'm gonna fucking kill myself. This is awful. Round five. God, how long are we going to go for? The, the score I get in the end does not matter. Wow, I'm really starting to like bowling. Yeah, me too. And Mark said he was happy with bowling now he opened too. He said that he usually plays on the other side of town, but now that's got one close to his house, he's gonna start playing here. Cool! So in that case, would I be acting desperate if, you know, I since I like bowling now, what if I decide to keep coming here to play? I see where you're going. So you're interested in him, huh? Well, I don't know him so well, remember? But but you want to learn more about him, right? Yeah. Open bracket Giggle Exclamation mark Close bracket Then I don't see anything wrong with potentially being in the same airspace with him. Especially since he's starting to enjoy bowling now. You're not here just because of him, right? No way. But I say go for it. Remember, Cinderella knew that going to the ball gave her a chance to be noticed by the prince. But she let the prince take the first step towards her. So come here and enjoy bowling, and maybe Mark will take the next step towards you. Right, sounds like a good plan. But I don't mind coming with you too. Bowling is really fun. And I can be your support so you're not here by yourself. Open bracket. That is a great chance to see the romance blossom. Close bracket. Great. Thanks, Pammy. That's what friends are for. My parents should be picking me up soon. So let's get some refills on these drinks before they get here. Cool, let's go. Pammy heads home. I'm home! Hey, Pammy. So was the bowling alley all they was hopped up to be? Yeah, it was great. And... Looks like a guy really likes Jane. Stay with me, everybody. Open bracket! Giggle! Exclamation mark! Close bracket! Oh? Jane was telling me about this guy that was starting in a class. Staring at her, what's his problem? Doesn't he know how rude that is? No, it's not like that. Based on what she said, to me it sounded like the guy had a crush, and I think it really does. It was at the bowling alley. He was too cute! Hmm, I don't know, Pammy. Just because he said hi doesn't mean that he's got a crush on her, right? Well, maybe, maybe not, but still, Jane and I decided that we're going to stop playing there now. Ha! To go after the guy, right? No, we're going to go play bowling! But, if Mark starts a relationship with Jane, with actually the icing on the cake, I know help Jane any way I can. <sighs> I really hope this works out for her. Wow. He's so serious about all this. What do you care so much about Jane going out on a date anyway? Well, well, Mama, it's because I love her. I love her. I don't want to date some boy. It's because I love her. I want her to be hers. Oh, no, no, it's just, it's just the Bible. It's just the Bible. Huh? Treat others the way we want to be treated. It's Matthew 7, 12 from the bar. Why? So, again, I'm not making fun of religion, but, like, I don't think that people normally just remember random Bible quotes and, like, where they came from. Maybe they do. She's got coloured hair, and from the looks of her, she has autism, so... 
<laughs> yeah, maybe the Bible's a hyper obsession. I'll I'll roll with it. I would want a friend to help me with guy questions. And if I help Jane, maybe God will bless me and the guy who asked me out too. Yeah! This is going to be a lot of fun. For the last time, ladies and gentlemen. Open bracket. Giggle. Exclamation mark. Close bracket. No words. Looks like Pammy has found a new after school activity. How will things work out with Jane and Mark? And will Pammy be asked out too? This concludes story one of Guess What? There's no story two. There's no story two. If there's no story two. I didn't get a trophy for any of that. Does the game have trophies? The trophies are for playing games online. Score 30 points in the game of bowling, hang on a minute. So I can get all of the non-online trophies, I think. So literally the trophies are for getting up all points up to 30. 28, 29, can we get one, oh, right here we go, one, one trophy, two trophy, do I not get any more trophies, was that it, no, here we go, three trophy, no, I've, he's jumped straight to trophy number 11, 12. Seventeen. Hang on, we're gonna get to number thirty just while that goes on. Eighteen. Oh, I've got this off now. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Right, let's try and get that thirty. Oh, music. Music ramping up now, 25. 26 gold trophy. 27. 28. Shit, we're just one off. 29. Go on, we just need a 30. Well, we fucked that one up. We just need a full board wipe. Oh, music's back to what it was. No, 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 we've got that one up as well. Is there a way just to like... There's no way to like reset it if you fuck up. You've just got to go through the whole thing. We're gonna get that 30. Nope. I might give up. I'm not gonna 100% this. We've just literally got, I shit you not, 29 trophies. From that, and the only other trophies except for getting 30 is to play five matches against different people online. I've got to have five friends by this game. I accidentally muted myself. That's it, video done. Bye.